Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, whenever you guys are joining me. Um, this is Professor Williams with more fascinating statistics videos. This one is going to cover creating and interpreting stem and leaf plots. I'm going to walk you through actually creating a stem and leaf plot in Megastat using Excel and then I want you to understand how to interpret or read one of these. Um, hang on, let me go get some data and I'll be right back. Alright, while you guys weren't looking, I came over here to Excel and what I've got is I've got 25 data points and this is purely made up. This is professor math. These numbers don't represent anything. I just needed some data to work with. So I'm going to come up here to the add-ins tab on Excel it's going to give me my Megastat. I'm going to click on Megastat. Come down here to Descriptive Statistics. I'm going to click on Descriptive Statistics and it's going to give me this unbelievable menu. Um, you all are going to spend a lot of time here. And I'm always going to start, Megastat always wants to know my input range. So remember I said not to get into the habit of selecting the entire column. So I'm just going to come over here, put my cursor in the first cell containing my data. I'm going to scroll down, see over there on the right, Megastat is keeping track of what I've got. When I get to the end, I just let go of my mouse button and ta-da, there is my um, data location. Now, I promised you that this was going to be about stem and leaf plots, so I don't want the mean I want, don't want this, don't want that. I'm going to want it at some point, but not this morning. What I do want is I want a stem and leaf plot. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click ooh, stem and leaf plot. Don't worry about this split stem right now. That's for another class, so just pretend like that isn't even there. What you want right here is a stem and leaf plot. All right. Now, I've told it I want a stem and leaf plot. I've told it where my data is. All I have to do is over here, click the OK button, close my eyes, click my heels twice, hit OK, and Megastat opens a new worksheet in my workbook and creates for me a stem and leaf plot. Let me um, format this and come right back. All right, I just made it a little bit bigger so you guys could, could see what I had going on up here. All right, um, so all I did was make this thing a little bit bigger so you guys could see it. All right, first thing it's going to do is it's going to tell me count. I want to make sure that I got all my data points. I told you I had 25. I actually got ended up with all 25. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to give me the STEM unit and the leaf unit. Stem unit of 10, leaf unit of 1. What does that mean? Well, remember way back in whenever, um, we learned the units in math, and we knew that this was the 1 place, this was the 10, this is the 100, this is the 1,000. When I see this stem unit of 10, what I know is that my stems are all going to be 10s, my leaves are all going to be ones. If my data values had been bigger, my stem unit might have said 100, my stem unit might have said 1,000, but for our purposes, they're tens and ones. So what we know about a stem and leaf plot is that every stem will have a leaf at one stem plus one leaf equals one data point. That's a beautiful stem and leaf, isn't it? So what does that mean in the big picture of things? What it means is that when I look at my stem and leaf plot, I'm going here to stem, going here to leaf, I know that th that stem of two, which is really a 20, because remember it's a tens unit, plus one leaf equals one data point. The stem of three, which is 30, plus a leaf of five gives me a data point of 35. The stem of four, a 
a leaf of 6 gives me 46. I look at this and I say, hey, I've got 6 twice. Well, that's because the number 46 appears twice in our data. I now know I have two 50s, 160, 140, 130, 120, but I have two 29s. Let me go grab the data real quick and I'll make sure that you absolutely see what's going on here. All right, just so you know, I wasn't like blowing smoke at you. Um, this is the data that I created this stem and leaf plot from. Remember I said I had 20, a stem of 2, and a leaf of 0 gave me a data point of 20. There's 20. I said that I knew that 29, my stem of 20, my leaf of 29 appeared twice. There they are. So one stem plus one leaf equals one data point. So this stem and leaf right here, right here actually represents every data point I have. It's just kind of a shortcut. The other thing that a stem and leaf plot does for you is it creates a frequency distribution. It gives me the frequency of 8, 3, 6, 5, and 3. And like any frequency distribution, I want to make that sure that the total here equals the count here equals the total number that I have over here. Because if this and this and the number here doesn't match, then I forgot to type something in to Excel, which can be really irritating. All right, so what does this frequency tell me? It tells me that eight of my data points fall between 20 up to, but not including 30. So these eight data points right here are actually in a class of the 20s, 20 up to, but not including 30. So there they are. Those are those eight. This frequency tells me that three of them fall in 30 up to 39, but not including 40. And there they are. This class right here tells me that I have six that are in the 40s. There they are. Here are my my frequency in the class of 50 up to but not including 59 it's going to fall here and this last one tells me that there are three in a class that runs from 60 would be up to but not including 70 if we had a data point that was above the value of 68 so this is really just another graphical representation of quantitative data. The things to remember are that you need to look for your stem unit and your leaf unit. And we always know that it takes one stem, one leaf equals one data point. See, that sounded a lot harder than it really was. So um, in summary, I now expect you all to be absolute experts at both creating and interpreting stem and leaf plots. See you guys around.